Hey guys, all right. It is a Monday, which means we are starting another lesson in science. This week we're doing chapter four, lesson three, and we're talking about how plants make food. Today's gonna be a really quick lesson, but tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more in depth. All right, so our outcome for this week is that we're gonna know the roles of the roots, stems, and leaves um, of the plant when it comes to making their food. The words we need to know this week are photosynthesis and chlorophyll. Photosynthesis and chlorophyll are two really important words we're gonna to have to know by the end of the week. Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about the needs of plants. So plants need several different things to make sure that they thrive and grow. Two of those things are sunlight and water. Um, they definitely need sunlight and water to live, grow, and reproduce, which we learned last week means to make more of. Without sunlight and water, we know that plants don't last very long. Plants also need carbon dioxide from the air and nutrients for the soil. So it's not just sun and water. It's got to have carbon dioxide. It's got to take in nutrients from the ground. So you've got to make sure that you're planting the right things in the right places geographically to make sure that they can um, grow to the best of their capability. Different plants need different amounts of sunlight and water. I don't know if you've ever been to Lowe's or Home Depot or even Walmart um, to get flowers with anyone in your family, but there's always this little um, cardboard white piece of paper stuck in the dirt of the flower that tells you how much sunlight it needs, how much water it needs, how far away to plant it from other plants. Um, because some, um, some plants can take a lot of sunlight and some plants cannot take a lot of direct sunlight. I know at my house, my front flower bed gets a ton of sunlight during the day. So I have to make sure that I plant flowers that can take about eight to 12 hours of sunlight so that they don't die in the first week that I have them from getting too much sun. And then the same thing goes with water. Some plants need to be watered every day. Some plants you can go every couple of days without watering them. Um, some plants, like I said, need very little water to grow like cactuses. Cactuses we know are typically found in the desert and they don't need water. They store water within themselves to survive. Okay, guys, that is all we are talking about today. Tomorrow, we're going to be focusing on how plants make their food, and it's going to be a little bit more in-depth. You do have a really quick assignment for this lesson today, so make sure you go back and check your folder and get that finished, and I will see you guys tomorrow.